hey hello everyone welcome back to the cloud ops junction so in this video we will talk about one of the most critical topic for anyone who is working in cloud that is azure virtual machine pricing and cost optimization so we will learn uh, what are the offering that microsoft has given and in case if you wanted to calculate the cost by your own for a specific virtual machine for a specific period of time how you can do that so without wasting any time let's jump into the uh, into the ppt and uh, let's understand the azure virtual machine pricing model so azure offers three primarily pricing model for azure virtual machines uh, if we break down into it it comes in three ways one is pay as you go second is reserved instance and third is spot instance uh, if I talk about pay as you go if I talk about pay as you go so it's uh, preferred to short terms or unpredictable workload uh, that is it is uh, used for I mean uh, you may pay only for the time when the virtual machine is running second is reserved instance reserved instance is ideally for a long term workload or whenever you do a commitment of one two three years a commitment means once you do an agreement with the azure that yes we are going to use this virtual machine for next one year or three years and we will pay uh, you for that and it is usually do uh, usually these types of workload or these types of virtual machines are used for stable workload like uh, web hosting or a database uh, running a hope self-hosted database running onto it like this spot instance spot instance are designed for flexible uninterrupted workload interrupted workload so usually it's offered 90 percent of discount and these are basically used for running jobs or uh, running batch jobs or or doing a test environment if you need something in a test environment if in case if it is got decommissioned while it is running there will be no impact on the uh, on your on your production or on 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 the things that you are you are planning so these are the three kinds of workload let's discuss more about it in, in detail so if we go to pay as you go model uh, then um, basically as I told you it's perfect for short term or unpredictable workload this model is ideal when you need a flexible and you don't want the commitment for long term uh, moreover uh, moreover you pay only for the time you're running the virtual machines this means uh, you are billed per second making in cost uh, and, and it's make its cost effective and more temporary task uh, example we can take uh, running a test environment for a few hours imagine you are testing a new application feature and you spin up a virtual machine and you test shut it down pay only for the hours that you used it that would be a best example for pay as you go uh, if I talk about the reserved instances if I talk about the reserved instances ideally for long term workload uh, if you have a predictable state state workload uh, steady state workload this model comes to save a lot of cost uh, you commit it you commit it for one to three years and get up to 70 percent of you can can you can get up to 70 percent of discount by committing to a long-term plan or a benefit it's significantly uh, you can it's you you will get a significant discount compared to pay as you grow model pay as you go pricing model and if i talk about the pro tips yeah use it for stable always on application for uh, application such as web servers that needs to be running 24 across 7 uh, then in that scenario reserved instance are a great choice spot instance let's talk about spot instance designed for flexible and interruptible workload these perfect for tasks that can handle interruption I mean if it if you're running a task and if somehow if that machine goes down if Microsoft uh, take that machine down 
there will be no impact to your work those kind of workload that that you can easily run on spot instance are uh, used for uh, offering these types of instance offered with up to 90% of discount it's make a lot of sense in case you wanted it for testing and uh, for unpredictable load unpredictable load then definitely go for it uh, example running a batch job or a test environment if you are processing a large data set or running uh, running simulation that can paused or resumed anytime then spot instance are good ideas important uh, these uh, these can be evicted anytime so plan it accordingly and uh, always have a backup plan uh, for running such a, such such kind of instances because these instances are only for uh, non critical task all right so if i talk about how to select a pricing model then uh, it's based on you that pay as you go are an ad hoc basis so whenever you need you can raise it you, you can uh, you can spin up uh, instance and you can use it for as much as long you wanted to use it so it charged on second or early or second basis per second basis so that would be a great uh, choosing a reserved instance uh, is always a better choice if you have a predictable load and you can run a critical workload in it opting for a spot instance is non-critical jobs or the jobs that have no impact on your environment or no impact on your job that you are doing then you can choose the uh, spot instances if i talk about tips are uh, tips for cost optimization in azure so azure advice use azure built-in tool to analyze your resources azure advice uh, azure advisory provide personalized recommendation to help your optimize optimize your cloud spending it's also provide a personal recommendation to reduce the cost like uh, resizing virtual machines or purchasing a reserved instance regularly check your advisory for new instances new insights uh, that it has been providing on on to azure advisory or azure advice resize your virtual machine uh, regularly basis check the Azure utilization whether it is underutilized or overutilized in case it is underutilized you can track the VM performance and identify if it is underutilized resources in such a in, in such a cases switch to a smaller size or a cheaper uh, VM families to perform performance allow this can lead to significant saving of your cost so that is something that you should choose it uh, apart from this uh, shut down and de, de allocate uh, stop a VM when not in used specifically in uh, test and development environment or QA environment this ensure uh, ensure that you only pay for the storage storage cost not the compute cost now there is a crack so whenever an instance is running you are paying for the compute as well like uh, how much RAM and uh, vCPU uh, virtual CPU or uh, the CPU that you are using however if you have stopped a virtual machine then you only paying for the storage cost like what is the uh, hard drive you have used or SSD SSD premium SSD whatever that you have used use this you are only using for you are only paying for that to ensure you only pay for the storage not for the compute uh, you can do a schedule uh, automatic shutdown during off business hours to save the courses or when you are not using it you can do that now sport spot and VM skill set uh, use spot VMs in conjunction with scale VM skill set or dynamic scaling and a massive that will allow with your massive saving this allows you to handle a variable workload effectively uh, this allows you to handle workload effectively uh, the another one that we can use is use tags for cost tracking so uh, you can tag the resources to monitor cost across teams and department this helps you in tracking managing expensive effectively 
for example you have different teams or uh, different departments like sales purchase like sale purchase uh, R&D uh, you have a department called IT there is a department called shipping there is a department called uh, uh, called uh, finance so you can actually track those uh, costing by by assigning the tax to the virtual machines so Azure cost management tool help us to track spending trends use tax to categorize and analyze your spending so this are the few of the ways that you can use to allocate or uh, you know that can help you to understand the costing as per uh, by using tax now uh, there is now let's take an example uh, you have been given a task by a management team that this is a, a, there is a VM called D2 VS3 or any VM that what would be the cost for running it for pay as you go for one year for three years then how would you do that for that what Microsoft has given us Microsoft has given a cost as your cost calculator so I will let you know how to use that to use the Azure cost calculator you have to uh, open this link I will give this link into the description so this is the link I wanted it for my Azure virtual machine so I will click on Azure virtual machines and I will click on view now you have to select which type of instance you wanted to use it there are few of the information that you have to fill it in our case it should be let's suppose take uh, the virtual machine would be running on East US 2 it what type of operating system it would be let's suppose it would be Windows operating system uh, what it is OS only it is standard or basic we are going with standard categories that there are different types of categories that uh, Microsoft provide compute journal GPU if you have a high intensive work where the graphic is used you can select a GPU high performance memory optimized storage optimized so let's take a general purpose or uh, let's keep it all uh, then what kind of uh, series instance series that you wanted to use we are I want a decent series with general purpose so let's uh, use D dv3 and uh, under dv3 I need a storage of 8 GB and two virtual CPU so we'll select with this one we'll go with d2 v3 I need one instance that running 70 70 730 hours that is somewhere around one month so it will be early uh, what I can do I can do it one month also if you don't want to do it early purpose I will use it one month pay as you go it will charge at 137 rupees. but this does not include the management disk let's use a standard SSD for let's take it 128 local redundant would be more than five so it it will cost around ten dollars a nine point six dollars for one month for running a one OSD disk and the cost for running it for pay as you go for D2 VS3 that is two virtual CPU 8 GB RAM and it will cost three forty seven point twenty seven dollars if I use it for one year then the monthly cost from 137 for one year reservation you will get 111542 and if I give it for three years you will get it to hundred dollars now there is a small catch if you have if you are using as your hybrid benefit this cost will further come down let's see this if I using it it's only getting 48 and it only 32 32.97 dollars so this is how you can use the Azure uh, 
pricing calculator to calculate the price of Azure services. This is very important not for Azure virtual machines for other Azure resources also you can utilize this. This is how you can do it. So it was a small uh, uh, tutorial or small video about the Azure pricing model. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe. Thank you.